Denying the contributions of NASA in the discovery of space, other planets in the overall observable universe would be an injustice to the agency. Since its inception, NASA has struggled relentlessly, achieved more through the services of dedicated employees, and flourished at a more enhanced pace when compared with others. From the discovery of other Earth-like planets to other resembling galaxies, from supernovas to the birth of new planetary systems, NASA has also been able to get the tap on space radio signals. These radio signals are usually generated in space by some cosmic events that are happening in faraway locations in space. However, this time the discovery radio waves appearing and then going off of the radar after a certain time period makes astronomers uncertain of the fact that is behind them. That is nothing like what astronomers have ever seen in space. The newly observed radio waves do not share any single characteristics of already observed radio waves. All this is making experts scratch their heads to discover what is unknown. The uncertainty is piquing the curiosity of any space guy at peaks. We can just imagine what it is doing with NASA and other experts in this domain. Are we about to experience a novel cosmic event? If not any current source is a casual factor of these signals, then what could it be? How astronomers are trying to uncover this mystery? Be with us as we explore this and plenty more about black holes. You will get to know this and plenty more as we dive into the details of today's show. However, before getting started with the video officially, here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that you can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. Radio Signal History As far as radio signals from space are concerned, they are not new to NASA or astronomers. This first ever discovery of radio signals was recorded in the early 1920s, approximately a century ago by American physicist and radio engineer Carl Jansky detected radio waves coming from an unknown source in the center of our galaxy. Jansky was studying the origins of radio frequency interference for Bell Laboratories. He found a steady hiss type static of unknown origin, which eventually he concluded had an extraterrestrial origin. This was the first time that radio waves were detected from outer space. The first radio sky survey was conducted by Grote Raber and was completed in 1941. In the 1970s, some stars in our galaxy were found to be radio emitters, one of the strongest behind the unique binary MWC 349. Later in the mid-1900s, a newly Cambridge graduate Jocelyn Bell Burnell, with his team from Cambridge, discovered signals from space that were initially assumed as radio waves and dismissed by her supervisor. However, future analysis and research discover that these are no ordinary signals, but in fact are pulsars. To be more precise, on November 28, 1967, Bell and Hewish, using a fast recorder, resolved the signals as a series of pulses, evenly spaced every 1.33 seconds. No astronomical object of this nature had ever been observed before. On December 21st, Bell discovered a second pulsar, quashing speculation that these might be signals beamed at Earth from extraterrestrial intelligence. A pulsar is a highly magnetized rotating neutron star that emits beams of electromagnetic radiation out of its magnetic poles. This radiation can be observed only when a beam of emissions is pointing toward the Earth, similar to a rotating beacon on the ambulance, and is responsible for the pulsed appearance of emission. Neutron stars are very dense and have short, regular rotational cycles. This produces a very precise interval between pulses that ranges from milliseconds to seconds for an individual pulsar. Pulsars are one of the candidates for the source of ultra-high energy cosmic rays. The periods of pulsars make them very useful tools for astronomers. Observations of a pulsar in a binary neutron star system were used to indirectly confirm the existence of gravitational rotation. However, this is obviously not the case here with signals that are observed recently in Australia. To grasp the grip on these new radio signals, let's get going ahead. The New Discovery The immense limitlessness of space has long intrigued and perplexed us as humans. We have always been curious about the mysteries that exist beyond our own planet, and whether we are actually alone in the cosmos. Researchers have also uncovered a genuinely amazing discovery. A single enormous space source is sending thousands of communications to us. But what could it be? Is it fully natural or is it anything else? Due to the message's unparalleled scope and coherence, scientists have more questions than answers, and so do we all. Could this be proof of intelligent life existing somewhere else in the cosmos? What are they attempting to tell us? Therefore, if that is the case, the scientific community is eagerly awaiting the results of the investigations as they work to unravel the mysteries surrounding these space messages. FRB Are you familiar with the fast radio bursts, FRB? Despite the fact that it could seem like a boring event to some, it has captured the attention of astronomers, scientists, and space enthusiasts. Its cryptic character adds to its attractiveness because there is so much about it that is yet unknown. 
Imagine the excitement among scientists when they first discovered several FRB signals in a short period of time and continue to do so. One of the most perplexing mysteries in space is the FRB. Who or what is trying to get our attention? And what might they be trying to get from us? It is what we're left to wonder. But what precisely is FRB? FRBs are radio emission bursts that last just a few milliseconds and are quick and intense. They possess the dispersion sweep possessed by radio pulsars. The first case of FRB was found by a doctor. After examining archived data, researchers learned that a pulsar scan of the Magellanic clouds took place about six years before Duncan Lorimore discovered FRBs in 2007. The fact that the FRB is also referred to as the Lorimer burst should not come as a surprise. As telescopes record an FRB, scientists pay special attention to a feature known as dispersion. Dispersion is the measure of how dispersed an FRB is when it finally reaches Earth. Instead of being empty amid an expanse of space, the space between stars and galaxies is filled with plasma, a soup of charged particles. As light moves through space, it comes in contact with many different barriers, which might alter its path. A part of these barriers is plasma. Radio waves and light can both be slowed down by this plasma. It's fascinating to observe that radio waves with lower frequencies are slowed down and influenced more than those with higher frequencies. A quick radio burst has several frequencies, and the dispersion effect happens when the higher frequencies reach Earth's first. Scientists use this dispersion to determine how far away from Earth the FRB source is. The signal has traveled through more plasma with a higher dispersion, indicating a further separation from the source. The first FRB was discovered. It was situated near the Little Magellanic Cloud and resembled massive radio pulsar pulses. The restricted apparatus prevented a precise measurement of the signal's flow, though. According to the researchers, there is a limited possibility of detecting the first FRB, which could happen in several hundred bursts per day. When the initial FRB was found, scientists believed it would be a unique event because it only happened in three of the 13 beams of the park's multi-beam receiver. But interest in the topic was renewed a few years later when a student by the name of Sarah Burke Spillar found another burst with a dispersion that was almost equal to that of the Lorimer burst. 2013 saw the discovery of four more Lorimer bursts by Thornton and colleagues, who gave them the term Fast Radio Bursts FRBs. These bursts, which had substantially larger dispersion measures than the initial Lorimer burst, were discovered by High Time Resolution Universe surveys conducted with the Park's 64-meter radio telescope. The brightest burst showed dispersion broadening with power law dependencies, as we would expect from alien radio emission sources. The first FRB found in a different observatory was announced in 2014, but it is still unclear where it came from, and scientists are still trying to identify it. Technology and study methodologies developments may help us comprehend these enigmatic bursts and their causes better. Researchers are keen to unravel this puzzling phenomenon. Hold on to your hats, people. The plot is about to get even more convoluted. After thoroughly analyzing their data, astronomers made a discovery in 2019 that would leave even the most experienced astronomer dumbfounded. As a result of this new information, a whole new range of research possibilities opened up, and scientists raised to identify any kind of regularity or periodicity in the bursts. They admitted that it might be some time before we fully understand the enigma surrounding FRBs and were left wondering whether these flares might be caused by a variety of mechanisms. This strange object has been tracked by researchers all the way to a dwarf galaxy located 3 billion light years distant. But it's not your ordinary FRB. It is quite congested and has only one pattern. After 90 days of activity, there are 67 days of silence. Due to the amount of activity it has seen, the 500-meter aperture spherical radio telescope, or FAST for short, has been one of the instruments that have been assisted astronomers in observing FRB 121102 when it is transmitting. Even during the telescope's testing period, FRBs were found. FAST acquired a startling 59 and a half hours of data in just two months, taking just 47 days. This massive data set allowed the researchers to perform a statistical study of the activity of the source. The bursts were divided into two groups based on their energy, those with higher energy and those with lower energy, each having unique qualities. It was shown that the weaker bursts had greater randomness. Despite their irregularity, scientists are persistent in their search for FRBs. By their investigation, they have discovered that although these bursts originate from galaxies that are millions or even billions of light years away, they have the power to power hundreds of millions of suns in a matter of seconds. The FAST telescope just located FRB 190520, a fascinating new frog that was unearthed in China by researchers. 
This FRB stands out because it repeats more frequently than others, releasing 75 bursts in just six months. In an effort to understand more, the team used the robust Very Large Array Radio Telescope in New Mexico to concentrate on the FRB. They eventually identified the mysterious signal's origin, which was a dwarf galaxy some 3 billion light years away. They made an unexpected discovery when they found a weak radio signal coming from the same area as FRB 190520. It is an unusual find because there is only one other FRB source known to have this persistent signal. Yet, an interesting disparity was observed in their results, despite the fact that this is extraordinary and perplexing. It is crucial to keep in mind that just 19 of the more than 800 reported FRBs have been detected, enabling accurate distance calculations. For the remaining sources, astronomers must rely on dispersion to calculate their distance from Earth. The scientific community has been enthralled by this novel FRB which poses more questions than it answers. In contrast to the 19 other FRBs on which were predicted distances match the locations of the real FRBs, the dispersion method utilized on this one was wildly inaccurate. Scientists are perplexed and forced to ask, are persistent radio signals increasingly widespread and what produces them? Is the same process that creates FRBs also responsible for the persistent radio signal? The committee was also taken aback by the very high dispersion rate of FRB 190520. It, the crew is keen to uncover additional information about this peculiar object by utilizing a number of telescopes spread throughout the globe. In conclusion, astronomers and the general public alike have become interested in the fascinating and mysterious cosmic phenomenon known as fast radio bursts. There is still a lot that we do not know about these radio bursts energy, despite significant progress made in recent years such as the detection of more than 800 FRBs and the tracing of some of them to their sources. The more we learn about FRBs, the more questions we have, from the unexpected dispersion estimates to the discovery of persistent radio signals. However, we can hope to learn more about these strange objects and gain a deeper comprehension of our universe by utilizing cutting-edge technology and working together with scientists from all over the world. With that, we have reached the end of today's show. Where would the discovery of FRBs lead to the universe's hunch? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos to you. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the next one.